You all arrived here from Cislodia, yes? In that case, you should depart via the south gate, rather than the one you arrived through.
After all that, Kisara never came back to see us. I'm surprised she slipped away without us noticing. Where would she even go? I hope this place survives. You think the Danins and Renans have a chance of getting along? We didn't really do much to change things around here, did we? This realm had its own walls to overcome. And in the end, it was the people themselves who decided to break them down, without any help from us. I hope they keep going. I really do. Yeah, well, if you say so, I guess. Huh? All right. I leave command of the Gold Dust Cats in your hands. You've got nothing to worry about, Kisara. I'll do your brother proud. Looks like it's time to go. Take good care of Zare for me. All right, Lagil? You've got it. Stay safe, Kisara. Did you come to say goodbye? Actually, I was wondering if you could use another companion. Huh? Well, we certainly don't mind you coming along. We just figured you'd stay behind and help rebuild. These people could use you. I thought much the same thing. However, in the end, something changed my mind. Ever since Miguel died, I've been thinking a lot. About where I went wrong, what I should have done differently. You know, that sort of thing. It's true that our dream of coexistence saved many Danon lives, but we were naive and short-sighted. I was so wrapped up in my idea of how things should be that I didn't see the problems that existed right in front of us. I thought we had been given a utopia, and so I never bothered to look too far past its surface. I chose to be ignorant, and because of that, because of me, my brother... Magal's death wasn't your fault, Kisara. Perhaps you're right, but in the end, it was me he entrusted this dream to. I learned that nothing in this life is free, or gained without sacrifice. Now that I know that, I'll just have to figure out what else I don't know. So, decided to join us? I have. And hopefully I can continue to protect Elda Menencia from outside the dream world, for the sake of those still inside. And here I thought you joined for an opportunity on my life. In all honesty, I'm grateful to you. I truly am. I don't blame you for what happened. But I must also leave your service. No longer will I be defined by protecting a Renan Lord. From now on, when I fight, I fight to protect my dream. All I ask is that you do your part, that you fight alongside me, not just for those who used to believe in your dream, but for those that still do, Dohalim. I understand. I'm no longer a Lord anyway. Well? This crew just gets bigger and bigger. All right, where to, team? We make for Mahag Sar, the Valley of the Four Winds.
I'm amazed how easily you can move such a giant shield around like it's nothing. Really? It's not actually as heavy as it looks. It's really reassuring to have someone like you protecting us, though. You know, I guess I never realized it before. But looking back, I've always been the sort to put myself in harm's way to protect those around me, even before I joined the Elderman and Sia Guard. So, in a way, using this shield to keep you all safe feels like it's what I was meant to do. You don't need to worry about protecting me. I don't plan on relying on you. That's okay. It doesn't matter if you do or not. I don't protect people because they ask me to. I do it because I want to, and because I think it's the right thing to do. That goes for you too, Dohalim. Me? Yes. You see, you and I both want the same thing. We have the same goal. That means it's in my best interest to continue to protect and keep you safe as well. Even now. <sighs> I'm not sure how much protecting I'll need either, but I appreciate the thought. I'm sure you'll do us proud, Kisara. Right. You can all count on me. What was Kelzalik even after in the end? Isn't it obvious? Clearly he wanted the throne for himself, and was gonna have his goons execute Dohalim to get it. He had to have known he couldn't hope to defeat a lord. He should have run while he had the chance, instead of holing himself up in the palace. Maybe he thought he couldn't run? Either way, the outcome's the same. So he got desperate and decided to go for broke? One might argue that he was another victim of mine, in a sense. Huh? There is no greater calling in life to a Renan than the Crown Contest, yet I refuse to take part. The shock he felt at that must have been truly immense. Enough to drive him to revolt, even though doing so meant defying Renan hierarchy. I know I've said this before, but Danans and Renans wouldn't coexist here if it wasn't for your stance. But that was no lofty idealism on my part, nor do I feel any pride at what occurred. Spare us the pity party. You literally just joined us to uphold those ideals. Shion! No, she is absolutely correct. I shall speak no more of my misgivings.
Looks like we made it here in one piece. I think the animals back at the ranch should be all grown up by now.
I'm impressed how well balanced this thing is. This realm doesn't seem like such a bad place to camp in. Yeah, there's lots of plants and wildlife here. I know, and it all looks friggin' delicious, too! Who said anything about eating them? Thanks for waiting. Eat as much as you like. What's wrong, Law? Why do I gotta have a vitamin smoothie? Because you've been eating nothing but meat lately. Your body needs vegetables to stay healthy. Yeah, but does it have to be so concentrated? It's better that way. Even if you hate vegetables, all you have to do is drink it. It's a quick and easy way to get more nutrients. Like you're one to talk, you'll have anything as long as it's spicy. Which that vitamin smoothie isn't. I know its taste leaves a little to be desired, but once you get used to it, it's not so bad. This sludge isn't gonna make me less hungry. <laughs> I don't know. If you downed ten of them, I bet you'd start feeling pretty full. Are you trying to turn me into an herbivore or something? If I were you, Law, I'd drink it down sooner rather than later. It's going to start tasting bitter if you let it get warm. It's already bitter when it's cold! Come on, Law. It's good for you. Quit complaining and drink it already. Mind if I join you, Law? Hmm? Oh, hey, Alfin. What's up? Nothing. I was just surprised to see you weren't training for once. Got a stomachache or something? Uh, you know I don't literally train around the clock, right? I do take breaks. Do you? It seems like you're training every chance you get. Well, yeah. It can't be helped if I want to get stronger. Still, it's important to let your muscles rest every now and then. That's what my dad told me anyway. Zephyr said that? When I was a little kid, yeah. I would get so excited whenever he came home. I always followed him wherever he went and tried to learn as much from him as I could. He said, it's good to be passionate, but don't overdo it. Just like there are times when you want to take a break from studying, 
Sometimes your body wants to take a break from training, too. I was always rushing around and forgetting to rest, so he ended up telling me that a lot. <laughs> that definitely sounds like him. It's nothing to get sad over. Still, I can't help but wonder if that was my dad's way of teaching me the dangers of rushing into things too quickly. Then again, maybe I'm just overthinking things. I wish I'd had more time to talk to him about this kind of stuff. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. You guys ready to hit the road? I know I am. Kisara. Right. Be a delicious <laughs> piece of cake. Water, hear my cry. I'll handle it. Raising me are freaking invincible. I'll be in the other. What about me? <laughs> that was a walk in the park. Those enemies were just up your alley. Couple quick punches and boom, finished. Well, it was more than a couple. I bet that one could give me a decent workout. Chip. Take this! 
I didn't think you had it in you. Focus. You'll be time to congratulate me later. Nothing much I can say to that. Penumbra! Glacial Spear! Nice! Armor won't save you! Penumbra! Magic is there! Come here! Down on the ground! Right and ready! Rinwell! Demons descend! Flashing Fang! I think we're about to be real lucky! Coming through! <laughs> we are freaking invincible! Falcon and the others really are strong! What about me? Are those rocks in skin? So those are Dan and Astral Huh. Hmm. Over so soon. Really now. <laughs> 